Okay, good morning everyone and good afternoon to everybody on the East Coast. If someone could do me a favor and write in the chat that you can hear us, that would be awesome. Okay, um, well, thanks everyone for being able to make our webinar today. We're really excited to talk to you guys about effective LinkedIn messaging for prospecting engagement. Um, my name is Sasha. I uh, pretty much help oversee uh, most of the retirement plan marketing products, but recently we actually were able to onboard a new team member that's going to be giving the presentation today. Her name's Jessie. Um, she, just a little bit of background on her, she just moved cross country to beautiful San Diego to be with us on the team before she actually worked for a company that we partner with. So she's a little bit versed in our industry before she started working with us. Um, and at her last job, she was actually able to do a lot of social media marketing. So we kind of felt that this was the best fit for her to give this presentation. Um, just a friendly reminder that you guys are always able to ask questions. Um, feel free to ask as we go through the presentation. Um, and then this presentation should probably only be uh, 20 to 30 minutes, um, and then we can get you guys out of here. Once again, if you're leaving early uh, from the webinar, we will always record it and send it to you after so you can watch the replay. So without any further delay, I'm going to pass this over to Jessie, and she is going to give you guys this awesome presentation. Great. Thank you, Sasha. So to start... We're going to go over the agenda. So in the beginning, we're going to just reflect a little about your current um, initiatives for LinkedIn marketing. And we're going to talk about the opportunities that um, are there for LinkedIn marketing. And then the five golden rules and things that you should live by when or if you implement this. So reflection time. So I want everybody to really think about this, whether you take a picture of the screen, screenshot it, or right now as we go through it, just really think. So how do you want to engage your prospects? How do you want to come across, especially on LinkedIn? It is a professional website, but how do you want to um, reach out to them? How do you want to spark their interest? And what is your go-to opener when you message your prospects? Does it usually work for you? Do you not hear back? Um, do you get a thumbs up, a thanks, people are engaging, they're responding, they're just, it's just not um, successful yet. And then how often do your, mess, do your messages spark that interest? So yeah, just again, like what I said, do you typically get responses? And yeah. And now we're gonna go into the opportunities that are there for LinkedIn marketing. Um, LinkedIn, mar LinkedIn is obviously a professional site that, um, is underutilized, especially in the marketing field. Um, I'm sure you guys get messages here and there. Um, sometimes they might come across spammy, but how often do you usually get quality messages? And that's what we're aiming to get you guys to do. So 61 million of LinkedIn users are senior level influencers and 40 million of those are in decision-making positions. So that is a huge market for um, financial advisors to target plan sponsors. And 80% of B2B leads come from LinkedIn versus other social media platforms such as Twitter, um, Instagram, Facebook, whatever else you guys might be using. And now we're gonna go into the five golden rules. Um, so rule number one, keep your messages short and sweet. No one wants to read um, a really long message that's going to lose their attention really fast. And to add on to that, uh, the average time that people read a new message is about 11.1 seconds. So that's not long, especially if your message is taking is like a minute long. Um, so you really have to just have a strong opener that keeps them 
greeting or wanting to respond. The second rule is do not, under any circumstances, lead with asking for a meeting because most of them are going to reject you right off the bat. As you can see, the statistic is between 90 and 97% of quality prospects will just ignore your message. You need to earn the right for discussion and build a trusting relationship first. So ask them how their current retirement plan is doing. Um, what are their participation levels like? Just engage them and build that relationship. Ask them to launch whatever you whatever you're most comfortable with. Just you know form that bond. Form form this. Have them trust you pretty much. And rule number three. So network with prospects through similar characteristics characteristics. Did you go to the same university? Do you volunteer with the same organization? Um, do you both love the same football team? That's always a good one. It's football season. People are passionate. Um, just make a connection. I know from personal experience, I was recently invited to an event that I couldn't go to, but they started with Maryland Crabs, and I'm from Maryland. So obviously, I was like, wow, yes, um, I'm going to at least respond to you and tell you no. And now I know their name, they know mine, and in the future, I if I could go to one of their events, then I would because I just felt that like trust and it was great. And then ask for introductions from mutual connections. If you know that plan sponsor um, is great friends with your wife's best friend or you know some crazy connection, ask for that. Ask for that introduction and have someone introduce you that way. And yeah, dig deep about your prospect. Do you both enjoy golfing? Do you Whatever your hobbies are, mention that. You know, build build that that friendship for well, not necessarily friendship, but relationship first, and have them want to respond to you. And then rule number four, and this is a very very good one that um, I don't know if you've ever received a message that they don't address you by your name first. It kind of just doesn't feel personal, and it feels like they probably just copied and pasted it into multiple messages, so you just don't really want to respond. So you know, call them by their name first and make sure make sure you spell it right. Ask a compelling question. Um, how, Like I said, how's your retirement plans doing? What's your participation levels like? Make them want to respond. And show interest words such as curious. You know, I'm curious as to what your participation levels are like. And then maybe throw in a statistic there. What the, you know, nationwide uh, levels are like or something along those lines. And then rule number five, it's just the reality that they may not respond your first, second, or third message. Um, it's just sometimes they get busy. Maybe they just are not necessarily interested right now, but sending them quality messages, they will at least have your name in mind in an honorable fashion. You know, it's not, you're not coming off spammy. And if they ever choose to switch their advisors, you will be top of mind. In addition, like and comment on their LinkedIn post if they're if they are posting, if they just got a recent job promotion or a company update, you know, like that or say great job, comment on it. Um, keep their name. Um, and if it's their birthday, flatter them with a message. And so yeah, that is the presentation. If you guys have any, any questions, please feel free to ask right now or um, email me or Sasha anytime. Great stuff. So one other thing I just wanted to bring up, um, as you guys are our clients for our marketing portal, we obviously invite you guys to these webinars to get the most information. Something to always remember is that everything that we suggest you guys to do marketing wise, um, for example, right now, LinkedIn messaging being effective, you guys have a suite of content that's readily available to you that you guys are able to incorporate when you guys do LinkedIn messaging. So Jesse recommended, I think it was in step three or four, you know, starting a conversation with them about like participation rates, you know, looking at whatever type of industry they're in and finding a piece of content that might relate to them really well and, you know, sending that over to them. So just making sure that you guys are utilizing, you know, your marketing materials that you already have um, in those LinkedIn messaging um, we're getting a couple questions. Um, I did have one. Okay. So we have one that asked, can you give an example of maybe a not so, 
uh, professional introduction over LinkedIn. Um, I actually think I can pull up one on my phone because I get them all the time from people that will just send me messages, um, you know, no introduction whatsoever, but they just, you know, tend to send um, messages our way. Let's see if I can find one. Okay, so I'm not going to read um, the whole entire thing because it's very long. So this is a prime example. This message is probably at least six paragraphs long. So I connected with someone and immediately they sent me a message. So complete copy and paste it. It says, hi, Miss Sasha. It's a pleasure to get connected with you. If you're looking for a way to digitally improve your work business brand, I want to let and want to let the world know about it. I think we can help each other. So first things first, I will just point out that this person did not at all look at my LinkedIn profile. I work for a marketing agency. I think it's a little obvious that in my field, looking for a way to digitally improve my work, business, and brand is something that I do for a living. So that's kind of already a red flag of someone that's not genuinely interested in someone who actually really didn't look at your profile. So just to go off that make sure that when you connect with people, look at their profile, look at where they work, what their skill sets are, look at the company they work for. Um, you know, you can find out a lot about a person from their LinkedIn profile, even if there's not a lot of information on it. Um, we Google them if you can't find it on their LinkedIn too. I mean, type in someone's name and I, type in your own name and see everything that comes up. You know, that will be the same way with a planned sponsor. You'll find so much information on them um, just through Google. Absolutely. Yeah. Find some sort of common connection. Um, it's always great to, you know, we have a lot of clients that, you know, will ask us, I just not really sure like what the best way is to make the introduction. Um, you know, and if you're new to social media, a great icebreaker is to message them saying, you know, hi, so-and-so thank you so much for the connection. You know, we run a firm that's been in business for this long and we're just starting to get on social media. So I thought it would be smart to introduce myself to other like business owners like myself. Um, you know, concluded at that. If you'd like to mention, you know, like we run a marketing, a, a retirement practice. We have a lot of different resources on our LinkedIn and website if you're interested and leave it at that. Just like Jesse said, never ask for the first meeting or never ask for a meeting on the first connection. Um, you really want to build that relationship. So that's kind of a long-winded example of a not-so-professional introduction and then a professional introduction. If you guys want templated response, we can send some to you. We have a few. Um, not getting any more questions. Uh, let's see if there's anything in the chat. I'm not seeing anything. All right. Well, guys, I assume this means that you guys are pros and you have no questions. Um, but if you guys do have questions a little bit later, please feel free to let us know. Um, you guys can always reach out to us by our personal emails or the hello at RP Marketing Box email. Um, but with that, we're going to conclude today's webinar. Um, thank you so much for coming. As always, we provide these webinars to give you maximum support. Never hesitate to reach out to us. Um, we hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. Happy fall. Um, school's back in session and everyone's back in the office ready to work towards the end of the year. So have a great day, you guys.